Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube View Channel. I'm Harry. Recently, I'm interested in N20 jet motor. They are serious motors. In fact, the N20 motor connects to a whole metal gearbox that changes the output speed. By decreasing the speed, the output torque is increased. The normal N20 motor has about 0.4 mN meter or 4 gram centimeter stored torque. By decreasing the speed 250 times, the torque can increase. 250 times, that is about one kilogram centimeter or one newton meter. If decrease the speed more, the torque can increase more. Someone uses the parallel motor connection that increases the torque, but I have not seen others using the series motor connection, especially the series gear motor connection. I can't help to think about what will happen using a series connection. Keep watching. Let's do the experiment and find out the results. The parallel connection has the advantage to increase the torque. It is easy and simple. The total torque is equal to the sum of all single motor torque. But if one of the motors stopped, or jammed, or just they are run on a different speed, that motor will break the whole chain of the parallel connection. In the worst case, a motor will have problem. If we connect the motor. Especially gear motor in a series of construction, this is not a problem, since they can rotate independently. Only this motor stopped without interfering with the others. How about the torque change and the speed change? Let's do an experiment to find out. The gear N20 motor I used is 300 RPM in 6 volt voltage. Since I will check the stored current and stored torque, the motor will stop. I use 5 volt to do the experiment for safety reason. Immediately, I find I must find a method that connects the wire when motor rotating. I think the carbon brush will be a good choice since the normal motor also uses this technology. But I don't want to buy a new carbon brush, or most of the carbon brush is too large for my experiment. I will use a pencil refill to do the work. The refill is 2 millimeter in diameter. The HB format has about 1.8 ohms in 13 centimeter in length. The H format has a little larger resistance, that is 4 ohms. I will use HB refill. I connect the gear on 20 motor wires to two pieces of copper ring. These two rings are separated by a rubber O-ring. Cut the pencil refill to about 13 mm long pieces. Insert to brush holder. Add a copper plate wire and a spring. Now it can move freely and connect to the copper ring rotor. We can see it works well. Connect this geared motor part to another N20 motor. Fix the part. Fix them all with M3 nuts and screws. The rotated N20 motor has 210 RPM. The fixed N20 motor has 170 RPM. When connecting them together, the total speed is 300. And 94 RPM, just equal the sum of these two N20 motor. Let's check the torque. The torque of the 300 RPM N20 motor has been measured last time. It is about 108 mN meter, just the same as this time. 
the fixed motor torque cannot measure the stored torque. Since the rotating motor will not stop rotating, the total output torque is about 15.8 mN. Smaller than I expected. It looks like the weakest part controls the final output torque. It should be caused by the not good connection of carbon brush, or the fraction between carbon brush and the copper ring, etc. If we improve this problem, can be solved, and the output speed increased. By using this series connection, we can increase the speed but not decrease the torque. If we connect a lot of this gear motor, theoretically, we can increase the speed to a very high level without decreasing the torque. Then, use another gearbox to decrease the speed to increase the torque. One by one section, this mechanism can give us unlimited speed and torque. Is it really work? Uh, in fact, I don't know. Please give your comment. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Tell me your channel is waiting for you.